baseline wind concerns. Look at the overcast skies. We had thunderstorms overnight that rolled through and a few early this morning over Mount Airy. But look at what's happening now. We've got some cloud thinning that has developed and you're actually seeing some brighter spots in the sky out there. This is a concern that creates even more instability here at the surface. But a lot of what's happening today is actually going to be developing aloft. And so we have good energy that's going to rotate overhead. We have some spin in the atmosphere too. We also have good moisture pumping in from the Gulf of Mexico. That doesn't change, even though we're talking about this system with a cold front. Uh, we don't see a lot of that moisture drop off as it moves east of the mountains. That sometimes we can see in other situations. This, though, a very juicy air mass in place. We've got heavy downpours that have already brought in some one to, in some spots, two and a half inches. Showers from Wilkesboro through Delaplaine and, or Delaplaine, excuse me, up through Elkin, Jonesville. And right now, those showers out ahead of a stronger line of thunderstorms with tornado threats that are developing. We've got temperatures at 75 degrees in Greensboro, 78 in Ashboro, as well as 78 in Lexington. We do have some severe thunderstorm watches that have already come up for folks out to the west in Tennessee. We now have tornado watches that are coming up for the mountains, and those will last until 7 o'clock, at least Allegheny County in North Carolina included in this. We've got enhanced risk for severe threat right now from the Triad through Reedsville and down through Ashboro. So we're looking at occasional rain, some storms that will develop to the west, and of course, storms likely to the west with severe threats developing there as well. And we're going to check in on that latest warning that has just developed or watch. You can see here afternoon showers with temperatures in the 80s. So included in this severe thunderstorm and concern for tornadoes, the tornado watch will be for Allegheny, Grayson until 7 o'clock. So those are some of the counties that are included. We expect that to be extended to the east. So yes, we talk about the straight line wind concerns for the triad, but also likely a tornado threat that will develop. We may see other counties come under this tornado watch as we go into the next two hours. So be watching for that and check with your WXI 12 app. Make sure your emergency alerts are turned on on your cell phone. If you do not have a NOAA weather radio, make sure your cell phones are charged. We can expect to see some power outages from this event this evening. Temperatures in the 70s too will cool off very quickly. Look at that 40s as we go overnight to 30s in the foothills. So intense winds will end up on the back edge of this. We've got wind warnings for folks along the Blue Ridge Parkway already that will go into effect this evening through early tomorrow morning. It's going to feel colder than the 30s, more like the teens and lower 20s. Eee. We've got wind chill values at least near 20 overnight. And again, alert risk continuing to come up for us as we go into the afternoon. Here's our cold front. It is approaching right now, and we can see that line of showers and storms may be pulling through by 630 for folks in the mountains and foothills. It continues to track east during the dinner hour between 630 and really 8 o'clock, if not earlier for folks in the triad. This particular model starts to clear us out a little bit more quickly in the mountains and in the triad. You can still see some lingering showers through the 9 and 10 o'clock hour if you're on the eastern edges near Burlington as well. Your temperatures out there, as we mentioned, dropping off significantly as we head through the day tomorrow. So we'll be watching for this big change that comes in in the wake of this cold front that could produce some tornadic activity for us and we'll be watching for that. Right now we don't have much on radar uh, at the moment in terms of severe weather, but that's over Tennessee. High wind warnings go into effect and then we see the power outage risks as well and your wind chill values, they drop significantly in the mountains. Here's your seven day forecast from 80s today to 50s tomorrow and frosty conditions over the weekend. We've got afternoon highs in the 50s sunshine and we're setting our clocks back by one hour officially at 2 a.m. Sunday morning.